All the power spiked with the last discharge and then went out again, and I could see the Aurora dancing around Tower 6. At the same time, the headache intensified, and I think I began to hallucinate. Old and new memories are clashing and tumbling around me. <laughs> We're on the cusp of a breakthrough. I can feel it. How best, Graham? Morning, Frank. You look a little out of breath. What's up? Bloody observatory gates have failed. I came to see if I could borrow a ladder. Bloody hell, there's a 12-foot drop the other side of that wall. I'm old, but I'm not useless, no. Can I borrow the ladder? No one said you were useless. Reese. Hi, Frank. Fetch Graham the ladder, will you, lad? It's round the side of the barn. Will do. And you be careful. I don't want Stephen Appleton coming mithering round here because you've broken your neck. Great. I just realized I had myself muted. Okay. Check, check. Yeah, okay. The levels are. Oh, hey, everybody. That was a good eight, eight minutes? Eight minutes? With my mic be muted? That's fantastic. Oh, Lord. I apologize. Um, I was saying, oh god, none of that. No, you guys didn't hear any of this stuff. Hi, I want to work with you. Jeez, what the bloody hell are you doing? What are you up to? Get out of my way. This is important. You've been with Lizzie. You mess with her, I'll knock your bloody block off. I son. need to track the pattern. It's critical. What are you talking about, Stephen? People are sick. Birds are dying. My cows are dead. Where's Kate? Set up at the tower for all I know. I could recalibrate the radial coordinates on the primary oscillators. If that holds up... Stephen, where's Kate? What's going on? Just keep out of my way. I remember Frank. They mentioned Frank... I think we were by the school, and they mentioned that all of Frank's... Frank's wife recently died. That's right. Yeah, so, oh, man, I was walking through, oh, I was recapping what happened with Wendy, oh, Lord. And then I was saying that when that song was playing, oh, that this, that's a, that's a gaming memory I will always remember, it gave me chills, and I don't think any of you heard it, it's probably for the better. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, Jeppy. Look at that. That's a cool windmill. So. Okay. Yeah, so I figured out how to... It's not just straight up left to right. You're going to find where on this line, going from left to right, where this thingy, this memory exists. There it is. He never mentioned anything about them sickening yesterday. I checked them last night on the way back, and they were fine. I woke up this morning, and the whole lot had gone. Tell me, Charlie, have you heard any birds today? Well, I've not really been paying any attention. That sister of mine reckons they're dropping out the sky all around the Rekin. And Dr. Wade reckons there's sick folk all over the village. Meg said not to bother trying to get deliveries out. Said the quarantine in the whole valley. I reckon it's best we just sit it out. It'll all come right, Frank. This'll all come right? Yeah, right. I am sorry about your cows, Frank. 
But when things settle down, they'll see you all right. There's got to be provision for this sort of thing. You want to listen to the radio more? Things don't seem like they're settling down at all. I tell you, Charlie, something big is happening. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh. I didn't miss anything up here, did I? I don't think so. Alright, let's see what else we got. Big field. So I guess that's just... Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go here. sound tickles me so we came from there a few buildings here I've not tr checked out But this place has amazing chocolate milk. Or had. Oh, that's clever. Okay. I hear a radio. I think it's to my left. That looks like, you see that straight ahead? That might be the top of uh, one of the observatory towers. I think it's making a big circle. The radio telescope in Tower 6 is burned out. The background radiation coming in from the Penrose region is off the scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. My face is still numb from the burn. Ooh. Oh. Oh, was she looking through the telescope when that thing hit? Whoa, what was that? Yeah, do you guys notice there's more of the glowing stuff here? It's like embers. Uh, let's check here. Everyone's fixing engines. Alright. I hear it. Dripping faucet. How's your sister, Frank? We've not spoken since the funeral. Ah, I see. Well, uh, listen, I, I, I did rather wonder if you might do me a bit of a favor and check in on her, see if she's all right. Dr. Wade, if they drop the bomb, there'd be no left but cockroaches and Wendy Boyles. <laughs> it's a bit odd, really. There's an old chap, John Coles, regular visitor at Lakeside, went walkabout sometime last night, now it appears Mrs. Boughton has done the same. Enid? Well, that'd be clever. They amputated her leg last spring. Yes, that's the thing. I've also got a surgery full of people with nosebleeds and headaches. The council are saying influenza, but I've been practicing for 35 years and I'm not convinced. I just wondered if you might pop by and see her. Even if I did, do you really think she'd let me in? Fine. Forget it. I'll see her. Leave it to me. Oh, and Frank, call the hospital and get them to collect all this stuff. It's been eight months. Okay, I didn't realize Frank was Wendy's sister. That would explain why she went, he went to go wake her up. 
Steven's place. Um, so Wendy's wife was bedridden here for a while and then died a long time ago. He never did anything, huh? But didn't, didn't Dr. Wade say that people who were sick were able to get up or something? What if she didn't die? gotten turned around. I don't know where I have been or haven't been. Do I hear another radio? Okay, after this I'm going to call it for this part. Let's go up. Stephen. He doesn't understand. Even if he were here to experience it directly, I'm still not sure he would. <sighs> there has to be a way of consolidating, of offering reciprocal amplification to the signal. Hmm. Oh, okay. okay. All right, everybody. I think I'm going to leave it there. For this part, I really don't know where I was. I'll try and figure that out. This all looks new, though. Yeah. Um, okay, so everyone, have a great day. And uh, thank you again for joining Brain Plays. Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. I'm Jimmy Condon, and I'll talk to you guys next time.